You know, I get a lot of uh, comments in my video collection here about things that I should do. A lot of people have been saying, yeah, you should get these special headphones so you can talk to each other so you don't have communication problems. Yeah, okay, I, I should. I don't, but I should. A lot of people say, uh, you should try out the new electric chainsaws. I thought, okay, well, I'm stubborn. Well, today, Jeff showed up with a brand new electric chainsaw, so I get to try it out. I'll give you a little review of it. I'll tell you what I think. Hope you enjoyed this. All right, everybody's been saying, have I tried an electric saw? And the answer has been no up until today. Jeff just bought this. It's the Husky T536 LIXP. Compared to my 201T, it's about the same weight, except it's butt heavy. That, that battery, that's, boy, look at the way that thing goes. Yeah, yeah. This one, you pick it up and it, it's balanced. <laughs> kind of interesting. It's got a little thing here. You turn on the switch, that goes and... <laughs> sounds like it needs oil. It sounds that way, but that's how it sounds. That's it, huh? Yeah. It's kind of scary. Uh, it might need oil. I haven't checked oil in a while. <laughs> okay, well, let's, uh, let's put some... You don't usually oil up a saw when you gas it up, and since I never gas this up, I don't think to check the oil. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, let's check the oil. Well, it screws in all the way. It's got a little bit of oil in there, but it needs some. Yeah, let's, let's go and put some oil in there. Well, we're going to try this thing out today and see what I think. I do not like that, but I guess we hold it from here. That From that point, it's balanced pretty well. This point, it's balanced on the top handle part. This one, boy, I don't know. You don't got to put your earmuffs. How, mu how much was it? Uh, the saw itself was yeah. $399. 400 bucks. How much is it for a spare battery? Three no, three ninety nine. Battery was two ninety nine. Get out of here! Are you uh, serious? It was, maybe one ninety nine. The battery charger was maybe two ninety nine. Oh, you had to buy that separate? Yeah. So the whole the whole kit and good was of, close to a thousand. Yeah. Oh crap! Mm. Well, these things are about seven hundred bucks now. Yeah. That, that's an older one, two hundred one T. See, I can start at six o'clock in the morning. You now. can. Well, you can work at times of the day that. I just sit around and drink coffee. <laughs> well, well, we got a fairly uh, straightforward dead tree to take down today. We'll see how it goes. I get the bucket here. Got a birch tree that just died. <laughs> I'll make you famous, Dean. <laughs> Thanks. Well, check this out. I always talk about how birch trees rot out and they get hollow really quickly. Look at that. That was a piece down low. That's as far as I could go, and it's still, that's about a, what, what's the size of that bar? About a 12 inch bar? I guess 12. Yeah, and that was kind of maxing out, so it's definitely a pruning saw. I'm really curious 
I took the whole tree down with this one battery charge. Here, hold that. Let's see how much we got left on there. Good. What did you push there? I don't even... Still fully charged. <laughs> Still fully charged? <laughs> wow. That's incredible. Yeah. All that work and... Yeah. gasoline for a chainsaw. <laughs> well, for bigger cuts. I gotta say though, I'm in love with that electric saw. Yeah. <laughs> that one's made out of red cedar. Red cedar? Yeah. It's not incense cedar? Well, that's what you call it, but it doesn't smell like uh, incense yeah. cedar, so I'm calling it red cedar. Little carving up there? Yeah. Oh, very but nice. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. And you like it, huh? Oh, yeah. Has it changed your life, Dean? It's changed my life. Good. Has it let you down? <laughs> Hasn't <laughs> dropped you once. <laughs> Final opinion of this saw. First off, I hate to say it, damn it, I love this saw. It means I'm gonna to have to go buy one. They're expensive, and it's not just me, it's, you know, Kalen's gonna want one too, and Jorge possibly as well. So I'm looking at three grand because of Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. You're welcome. Jeez. So anyway, here's my thoughts on this saw. First off, it's so quiet that if a ground worker is using, used to paying attention to the saw starting and stepping back, um, that can be a real problem because it was too easy to just zip, zip, zip. Uh, it was, it felt effortless. 
you know, it's it's still a decent weight, but the fact that you don't have to start the saw every time, you know, the only thing you have to remember is you got to push that little automatic button up here that goes off, was it, about every minute or so? It's got like a timer built into it, so it saves the battery. And uh, I was able to do a lot of work with it. I, you know, Jeff said he trimmed a big mulberry and it went all day long and never ran out of out of juice. So I've not used the still version of, of their electric saw. This is the first time I've ever used an electric saw. But a lot of people on the uh, on the channel ask me if, if I've had any experience. Now I can say yes. Um, it is limited though. I mean, I couldn't take the whole tree down. And honestly, once I got more than, I'm gonna say eight or 10 inches in diameter, it did start slowing down. I tried doing a 12 inch cut and uh, the bar is just not long enough long enough because I'm sure it won't pull that big of a bar. So I think uh, technology is catching up with this and it's pretty amazing. Now I can't wait for Tesla to come out with a chipper. Yeah, now that's the ticket. <laughs>